So this is your last call. If you guys don't know, we usually look at the end of the week. So it's usually Sunday. This is when I post these videos just to give you guys two days to make sure you pick up what we're going to be looking at. So what we're going to be looking at is 801, Banshee, Zer, and Eververse in that order. And we're going to be looking at what they're selling and what I would advise you getting. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it because a huge portion of people are actually don't subscribe to my channel. So you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because I do think my content is worth it. Other than that, let's get into it. Before we get started with the actual shaders and whatnot, let me go to the look because I know people are going to ask me. Here is my look. Iron Forerunner, Iron Companion, um, the Girl Falcon's base look, Worm Guard Strides, Cloak of the Anointed, and for the shader, it's going to be Iron to Steel for everything except the hood, uh, specifically the helmet, because the helmet takes like a really bad off color. So that's why I use Warped Rackus, which is the Crota shader. So. Definitely one of my favorite looks that I've made just because it looks pretty cool. I would switch out the arms, but other than that, I really like this set a lot. Let me know what you guys think. So, let's actually look at Genotype Null Zero, or yeah, Genotype Null Zero. This is one like one of my favorite shaders just because it looks really cool. And it's from an event, or technically an event, but it's not an event. It's from a, a public event from season three so war mind it's a pretty old shader and i know a lot of people don't have this shader just because war mind was a while ago so i definitely would recommend this shader we have the mad monk also from war mind definitely a dope shader i would recommend this if you want a really dark color specifically for cloaks i know this is not a good example but this cloak usually takes really bad coloring or shader is really terrible but usually if i want like a really good black I would use Mad Monk for that. And then, speaking of black, Dead Orbit's Fate. This is also a pretty good shader. Um, it's definitely one of those shaders that you would pick up if you want to go black and white. Because, I guess you could do black, full black. But that would be rough because I know the white comes out a lot. That being said, you can always challenge yourself and try to go do the whole black thing. Because those who know shaders, like a lot of us content creators that go through fashion... We will understand, like, if you do a whole black look, we're going to be like, yo, that's actually really hard to do. Like, I don't know. It's one of those things. So let me, let me know what you guys think about the shaders. As for the armor set, it's going to be the falling themed armor set. And I will pause here for a bit so that way you guys can see the armor because I really don't have anything to add. I guess I can add, like, some of my favorites. So for the hunters, I think the helmet is really cool. Honestly, everything but the chest piece I like and be aware that the cloak shaders really really terribly Titans I like the helmet and I like the chest piece I think the arms are very usable and I think the boots and the mark are kind of whatever's <clears throat> warlocks I'm gonna be honest I like I like pretty much everything um there are better pieces than than others like for example the chest piece I think is really good I think the helmet's pretty cool and I think the bond is amazing, but the arms and the boots are kind of on the boring side. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. Um, yeah, I, not that the armor set is bad or anything. It's just, I talk about this set all the time. Like when it comes to 801, she sells a lot of the stuff that we already see a lot. So that's why I'm getting kind of tired of just talking about the armor all the time. As for Banshee, let's actually look at what he's selling. We got Killing Wind and Swash. That's not bad. Uh, Cartesian coordinate with left from gold and vorpal. Mm -hmm. oh, that's a good PVE weapon right there. Be Ooh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. I gotta hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This Cartesian coordinate is actually pretty spicy for PVE. Um, which if you guys don't know, Cartesian, like at least in my clan, we used it a lot. Um, not so much now because like my clan's dead type kind of thing, but <laughs> to be fair, it's not even that weird of, to say that considering like the season's not it's so i think i have this exact i have this exact role actually that's hilarious um i would still recommend it because it's such a good well, i mean obviously i would still recommend it because just because i have that exact role that actually it don't matter either way like definitely pick it up i'm still gonna pick it up just in case um because that's a really good role for pve uh stringer with compulsive reloader and rampage regal re Regal Action 2, Killing Wind and Frenzy. That's not bad. Code, code Duelo with Field Prep and Frenzy. So this is a red border. So if you are interested in this weapon, definitely pick it up. Uh, again, let me know if you guys can pick up multiple ones to do to get like all the red border in one go. I don't think you can do that. But if you can do that, 
I would highly recommend it because Ostringer is like one of the one of the best hand cannons in the game. Like people still love this hand cannon for good reason too. This hand cannon is dope. Um, that's it. This is the only red border, but I would also recommend like Whispering Slab is pretty fun. Like I like it quite a bit. Um, Legal Action 2, Killing Wind, and Frenzy. I like, I really want to love Frenzy, but I feel like activating it is just such a annoying sometimes. I, I don't know. I, I, it's a high impact, so I definitely would recommend this one. And then Code Duo, honestly, you can ignore this one. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from, from ever. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from Banshee. As for Zuri, he's in the Whining Cove and the EDZ currently selling the Season of the Haunted Activity Armor. I, Definitely would recommend this. Sorry. I definitely would recommend this armor. It's so good. We're gonna be going through the hunter Tide and then warlock. Um let me go to collections real quick so I can look at everyone's armor because I um uh, don't remember everyone's armor. I specifically remember like pieces of it because I do think a lot of pieces are really good for each class. Specifically for the hunters and titans, not so much for the warlocks, but hunters helmet, dope, chest piece, pretty dope. Boots, pretty dope, and the cloak and the arms, I'm like, the, for me, are like the weakest portions from it. Titans, helmet, really dope, chest piece, pretty dope, boots, pretty dope, and kind of the same thing with the, with the Titans, where I like the mark and the arms, I'm like, whatever's on. And honestly, Hunt Warlocks, I'm not a fan of pretty much all of it, all of it, if anything, like, I think the helmet is so sad. Um, <clears throat> I really, really was hoping you guys would get something better than this. The arms uh, are also kind of disappointing. The chest piece, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I am not the biggest fan of it. Um, yeah, like it's okay. It's not bad. Uh, you know, what? you could actually use it in some cool ways. It's just the fact that it has that like season of the witch symbol so much that it like, it's like, okay, I get it. Like season of the witch. I get it. Um, but yeah that's like my biggest issue with the chest piece boots i think the boots actually might be pretty decent let's actually check it out real quick for me well check me check it out uh all right yeah your boots you can definitely use on like uh like a tactical set yeah yeah boots are pretty simple boots are pretty cool i would definitely use the boots over everything else though i think the boots are probably the best piece um the bond's actually pretty cool too i mean it's just an iron band, mind you, but it's better than a lot of a lot of these, if I'm being honest. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up at in the minimum Titans and Hunters. You guys definitely need to pick up your like helmets and stuff because they are absolutely amazing. And if you don't pick them up, you guys are going to be like legit sad because, again, it, they're really, really good, especially if you want to go for a tactical sex. So make sure you pick them up because I don't want to hear people say, oh, I missed my chance because again really really good pieces here as for the weapons we have true prophecy field prep and elemental capacitor nature of the beast with snapshot sights and rangefinder blood feud with ambitious assassin and headstone deafening whisper with surplus and threat detector soul survivor eddy current and frenzy and then seven serif saw with auto holster and opening shot uh bump in the night with demo and chill clip just to let you know this is i think this is the only red border we have right now because this one is not a red border. It's actually the taken uh, weapons that are red borders. So not a lot that I would recommend here. I mean, <clears throat> I would probably do Deafening Whisper because it is a void wave frame. But if, if I remember correctly, we already have a wave frame that's void. Another one, at least. If not, there is this one. I just don't really care for it. As for the exotics, we have Hawkmoon with Killing Wind. And then Arbalist, which you definitely need to pick up. Arbalist is like one of the best weapons. It's still one of the best weapons in my opinion. Um, it's very versatile, uh, specifically for like, a, like pretty much any content. I don't, I don't even have to like. Okay, so like Arbalist, I use for like what GMs, uh, solo flawless in dungeons. If I need to complete bounties that have linear fusion rifles, this one's usually the one I go for because I don't want to do the heavy one because I want to complete it within my lifespan and not with heavy. So I, it's just very versatile for me. And then for the ex other exotics, Kepri Sting with 11, 11, 10. It's not bad, actually. <clears throat> you definitely want one at least on something. So, uh, eh, fuck it. We'll take it. 
Uh, Mark Stein. Ooh, Mark 44 standard sights are looking pretty, pretty good. Low mobility, which is exactly what you fucking want. Um, give me one second. Here we go. I'm getting that. Yeah, 16, 15, 16 is really, really good. I would most likely bump up the resilience a little bit higher, maybe. But this is actually really good. Uh, Karnstein armlets with some pretty high recovery, like really, really high recovery. Mm. So you ha you could either bump up the recovery or the resilience. I would most likely bump up the resilience a little bit more and then um, switch the like stat rotations on another armor set so it could be like even. So let me actually see what I get. <clears throat> uh, sealed on car grass, which are probably going to be most likely trash. So that's pretty much it for Zer. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from Zer. Again, like I said, this armor is really rare. He does not sell this a lot. So this armor, you definitely need to pick up. As for Zer, we have Gamekeeper, which is a pretty good shader. Like this looks actually really cool. Unfortunately, if this was like black or gray, I think this would have been even better because uh, this is a color scheme that I'm trying to go for my new channel stuff like art and whatnot. <clears throat> We have Empirical Imperative. This is one of my favorite shaders if you want to go for, specifically if you want to go for a like Warmind, a Rasputin type thing, you definitely want to do this because this shader is really good. Obviously, it doesn't look that great with all of this, but this is an arm or this is a shader that is going to be really best used with plate armor. Plate armor is going to be the best place for this. So, Titans, you're going to be using this shader because it's so good. I specifically made a set with one of the new ornaments from the season for the titans and it looks amazing if i can remember i'll post it up right now but very very cool looking we have phosphine stimulus which is just smoke dog we have directive crash i was saying I, oh i should pick this up but like now that i'm looking at it i, I don't really care for it to be quite honest um i think i already we already have some pretty good uh, uh siva looks not only that we don't even have siva looks so like getting siva ornaments just feels kind of like stupid when we don't even have siva armor in the game um another which is just a tea a coffee one i think i think this one might be the uh maybe a futurama reference maybe when uh fry was drinking a fuck ton of coffee uh, go all the way at the bottom. We have Armory Exhibition and the other ornaments as well. These are finally being sold. So let's actually go to the other classes so I can show you the other classes stuff because they're really, really cool and I really do recommend them. So for the Hunters, it's the Assassin's Cow. That's the new ornament that they got. Titans, you guys ended up getting the new Lorelei Splendor Helmet ornament and it's really, really fucking cool. So I definitely would recommend this one. This one right here. Very cool. That being said, remember that the glows do not change color. And that the color right here takes like the off off color unfortunately you guys will see it with this one right here yeah so off off color for these stripes right here and then the off color for the main helm so just be aware of that and then for the warlocks you guys ended up getting i think the arm no mm, no yeah it was arms you guys got two arms but specifically claws of ahamkara it really really cool and i really recommend it because claws of ahamkara only has one ornament now which is this one right here so definitely go pick these up because they're really really cool then we have lightweight custom which i think looks cool like definitely looks cool would you pick would i pick it up definitely not um sparrows don't help hold the same value as like world of warcraft mounts or even final fantasy 14 mounts just because uh Bungie really uh, destroyed their value when they started selling them in the marketplace and not even like to a point where like oh, all the coolest ones are in the market it's mostly just a lot of just shitty ones were being sold and it kind of degraded the value of sparrows so that's a conversation I definitely want to have steel sky which is a really cool dragon one unfortunately ships ships spare ships and ghosts mm, no ships at this point are kind of like the useless one you can really use whatever ship you want and you really like it doesn't matter unless it's christmas then you have to use a specific one because it gives you more material but ships are obscenely useless in this game ghosts have a little bit more usage just because you can put mods on them but i would still call them useless this also looks terrible in my opinion um hot gossip <coughs> yep we have mystical reading 
And then for the other stuff at the bottom, box of tricks. Only the finest. Celebrate newness. And then for the shaders, Tyrion Abyss, which where is the purple? Like, not the biggest fan of this one either. The off-white is not that cool. Like, it looks kind of more like cream than white, but my eyes at this point, I don't even know if I'm blind. Trinity. I really wish I liked this shader. Uh, it looks cool on weapons. It's just on cloth. It's not that great looking. Um, yeah, like this looks cool and also terrible at the same time. Jacarina, which I definitely would recommend this shader. If I have enough time this weekend, I will probably post a shader video for this one because I do think Jack Jacarina is underutilized, I would say. I know people would make fun of you for using it, but I don't see a lot of people use this very well because most of the time they'll do something like this, which I think looks terrible. You definitely want to combine it with pieces that have that like matte black because then it's going to look really cool. And then wielded breath or welded breast, I should say, which is a pretty cool shader. I would just switch out the helmet's color for something else because I'd actually, I don't think this looks bad. I think this looks really, really cool. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. You guys can leave this done. It's the end of the video, but <clears throat> we have gotten to the point where I'm actually pretty nervous because uh, we have caught up with the exotic videos. We have caught up with all of the armor videos and now we're going to be doing like the side quest videos, which is going to be pretty fun. I'm thinking of doing the the like thematic videos because those will hold me over for a bit. That being said, I might just start doing other stuff. So um, I have decided to cover a game that everyone and their mom is playing right now, which is Helldivers 2. I've put in 14 hours. It's a pretty fun game. Um, I'm gonna do a review of it technically it's gonna what I'm gonna be calling it hold on let me get my phone real quick because that's where I have the actual note for it so it's gonna be called fashion viable which we're gonna be looking at different games and seeing if it's fashion viable where we can like actually cover it um, hell divers is what we're the first one we're gonna be doing a because it's really really popular and B it's gonna be like a combination of a review of the game and then a review of if it has any fashion uh, capabilities which spoiler alert it does not but we will talk about the cool things about the game and some controversial things that i have to talk about because i i'm going to talk about it now because most people are not here unless you really like my content but i think hell divers is being overhyped as fuck. this is coming from someone who doesn't really care for co-op games so I will say that right off the bat, I'm not, I don't care about co-op games unless I can play this without friends, then that, that opens the door like, okay, like maybe this game is cool. Unfortunately, this game is not fun without friends. And I know some people are immediately going to be like, well, yeah, like this game, is, this game is made to be with friends. And like, I'm going to be honest with you guys, if your game is contingent on, this is really like a lot of fun with friends or it's better with friends. That doesn't really mean anything and actually kind of makes me not want to play the game because fucking kicking rocks is fr fun with friends like fun with friends is not a game selling point to me because again like i said doing the dumbest shit in the world is fun with friends that should not be something that pulls people in because it really doesn't and it should shouldn't so we're gonna be talking about hell divers um and it's gonna be like a gateway of actually doing fashion so that way, like if it hits the marks of like, oh, it has fashion, I actually enjoy the game and I can do this, then that's that's going to be the gateway game, like video. So that way we can start making fashion for that if it has potential. Helldivers doesn't have potential, but I can talk about some of the cool things that it does have. And I can do like armor rotations and like basically show you like the armor that's being sold or because it doesn't have that much armor either, which is also something I'm going to talk about. But I can show you the armor, what it does and that's pretty much it we'll probably do a short like short version or like all of the armor set in one video or a few uh, armor sets in one video so we're gonna be doing that and some commentary stuff as well because i definitely want to talk about some stuff and now that we're done with a lot of the fashion stuff i'm gonna be sprinkling some fashion with some commentary so that way you guys don't get bored of just me talking all the time and you guys can see me do some fashion i also have we're also waiting for guardian games if i remember correctly and I still want to do the new player fashion stuff so that way new players can do some fashion, get their 
feed into it because I do think new player fashion has a lot of potential. And then we'll probably do start doing a uh, weapon armor reviews and stuff or weapon armor. Re no, we're going to, we're going to start doing arm weapon reviews because I do think, uh, especially now that we're like almost not halfway, but like we still have like a hundred days. I think let's go find out real quick. Yeah. So we still have 101 days. So I think I'm going to start doing weapon reviews. So that way for those of you who are either going to come back like within like a few weeks or months, you guys can check these videos out and see like what, what's up. So. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.